I'm the Duke, and welcome back to the Kingdom. We are playing Conan Exiles. This is a Let's Build series where we focus on building some stuff, and I'm glad that you can join me for today. Before we continue with Conan, I just want to give you an update in terms of my Valheim playthrough that I'm also doing. Um, you might have heard or might not know that I've run into some problems after the last update. Uh, I wasn't able to actually get access to my game because of the mods that I'm using while well, I'm still in early access but um, yeah I finally did get some access to my game but it's broken mostly uh, it seems that one of the mods that I use for building most of my buildings um, is not working currently and I don't know for what reason because it was updated and still it is not working so as soon as I get into my game, a lot of that building stuff, or most of the building stuff from that one mod is, is gone. So you've got a lot of chaos, basically, in the game. But now we are in Canon Exiles, and we are going to focus on building our first town further. Um, so thank you for joining me. I hope you are all doing well. I am currently at my HQ. Uh, there goes the sandstorm down there. So it's good timing. He should be fast by the time we get there. So just to give you a little bit of update of uh, what has been happening lately. I have hopefully finished my kitchen that you saw me do previously. So I've added this little table and chairs and uh, some decorations and stuff. Um, I also added some more uh, ice boxes. So I now have one for the raw food, then one for the cooked food. I've got one for gruel, one for my putrid meat, but I also store the um, handful of insects in here, as you can see. And then I've got one for fruits and vets. And then on the other side, I now have uh, one for my drinks. And uh, I also added the storage for coffee stuff. So you can see it's got coffee grounds and some dry roasted coffee beans and um, I have also started adding these guys on this side so I've got dye that I can make over here and store it and then my potions over here I've got some grindstones and then some extra storage for the powders basically which is the bone meal dragon powder the raw ash witch fire powder and powder powder of corruption which I probably won't get uh, over here on the exile lands I've also added these railings, which looks or fits a little bit better with the theme, I think, and also around the stairs that goes down. And uh, yeah, upgraded my thralls a little bit, and I've actually managed to find Delentia. I don't know if I've managed that in this in a previous episode, so I did get Delentia. So I will upgrade her or level her up at some stage, probably off camera. And then on the outside, I've also added a bunch of market stalls. This one sells wood. I've added uh, just a fighter, but uh, yeah, he's going to be the merchant for that stall. This one is the blacksmith, and uh, this one sells uh, nice satin pillows and materials and stuff like that. I've got uh, finally moved Elena sells the seeds over to this tent and uh, one over here as well this guy is into crystals and stuff then this will be selling furniture I don't have a thrall for this one yet neither for this one or this one so you can actually switch the lights on and off I just can't remember which mod adds them but uh, it's pretty cool but for today we're going back to our first town that we started which uh, is being built around the theme of the set religion and uh, i will see you there okay welcome back we are here you will see on the map we are here down in the south in the desert this is where we decided to build our town and uh, we are going to continue. We just basically laid a foundation for the temple. And we are now going to continue this. 
So first things first, I want to uh, let me see if I can get it real quickly. Stability. Just want to add stability. To, uh, uh, let me take uh, I, the chess piece that just makes things easier. There we go. I'm placing the support pieces so that when I do actually build the temple on top of that it will have the necessary support and I don't lose stability then all right now that they are in place I'm going to go back to the arena building set and I'm going to use uh, which one's this one This is the one I want. Okay, and before I go further, um, the temple I'm going to use the Aquilonian uh, building set. Um, I think this is going to fit nicely with the set religion in terms of their colors. It's got the gold that's usually on the snakes, so and the white that goes with that as well. So that's what I'm going to use and uh, see if I can. Uh, Build the temple over here so i hope you've got something to drink something to uh, enjoy while you watch this as we are going into a building montage so sit back relax and enjoy
just going to bring you back for a moment just to show you the progress so far so let me just get down to the front way here so this is what the temple of set is going to look like for this town as you can see it is uh, somewhat of a pyramid build, but it's mostly influenced by the Mayan architecture I would say it doesn't go that high up as the Mayan buildings but um, yeah, it doesn't have to copy it exactly, it's just an inspiration. So in here we have the altar. This, what is it called? The typical, well, sepulcher? Oh well, sorry, I'm not sure how I'm supposed to pronounce that word. English is not my native language. But so that is in place. And then on both sides we have some stairs going down. This is going to be the living quarters for the priests that basically work and serve here as you can see uh, on both sides so all that needs to be done now is the decorations inside of here and uh, that will start taking shape now the light that usually goes up I'm not exactly sure 
where it's going to happen from here. The problem is um, this is not a final form. It's going to upgrade uh, two more times and that's going to change the appearance of the altar. So I need enough space for that. Um, and then I can determine where the light is going to go through and maybe close that gap a little bit more or maybe leave it as it is. We'll, uh, we'll see. The, the other possibility, of course, is just to take some railings and put them up there. Uh, maybe use these relations ones. That's also an option. Uh, maybe let's do that for now. We can always remove it later if we want to. But just to give it a little bit more of a finished look. There we go. Looks better already. Okay. So, as I said, we're going to build the rest of the town down this way. So we're going to create some pathways and stairs and stuff for those buildings. And then also, this is the walkway that comes through underneath the temple. Now, the road makes a bend here, so I was sort of forced to create this little bit of awkward corners. But uh, what I'm going to do with that is I'm actually going to use statues and some decorations to fill in these corners, just to make it a little bit more smooth, more natural to come through here. And uh, I think that will work. So um, I might just... Let me just go ahead and uh, place some of these walls in here. Just to get a little bit more of a unified look. Uh, oh, these ones are actually... Drifting in the air right here. There we go. Okay, that looks better already. Now I need just to go ahead and do this for the rest as well. There we go. Okay, so this is looking a lot better already. And the pillars are in place, the railings are in place over there. Uh, I still need a couple more on the sides over here. There we go. Yeah. So the only thing uh, short now is the decorations and of course we need to get a um, priest for set over here. Now I'm, I'm not sure if I already have one of them. I think I might have... Might have. Um, let's hop on back to the main base and let's just go and have a quick look at what is available. Okay, so back to where I keep my thralls. I basically store them in here. Um, that's a confessor of Asura. And another one of Asura. Now as far as I know, Asura... is not what we're looking for. So we have no choice. We're going to have to go to the city of Supermeru. And uh, see if we can get... Um, priest over there, which means this is going to be some hard work. See you there. Okay, we've arrived here. I've already got uh, some gruel in here and also have a taskmaster in place. So that will help a lot. Now if we come around to this corner there are usually a set of three priests at this altar. And hopefully one of them is a named one. Yeah, I'll take all of that, thank you. Oh, 
Already that's that's a named one. That's only a high priest. And another named one. Or well, the same ones actually. So we're gonna to have to uh get rid of two of them. And then we need to knock out one of them. One of those two, so let's see. Shield first. I'm going to take out that one. Uh, and this is where the where the challenge starts as everybody tries to join in. Okay, I've got rid of that one priest now. Get rid of this alchemist real quick, then we can switch on over to the There we go, start knocking him out just like that. Oh, out of stamina as the performer also comes back into play. I think we'll just ignore her for the moment and work around her. There we go. Take her out. Done. A little bit of iron bars. Scroll that. Oh, arrows as well. Just let me take that. Now this guy, he's got some. Ooh, I have set. Thank you. I'll take all of those. And I'll also. Where's my knife? Here it is. Let me go ahead and just harvest for the hide. It's, uh, you can never have too much of. I'll take all of that as well. Oh, lint and emote. Nice. Okay. Let's grab the rope. Grab this guy. I'll take all of that. Thank you. And we will take him to the wheel. And we will start breaking him in and I'll bring you back when that is done. And he's done. Good, so let's hop on back to the new town. And place him at the altar. And we've arrived back at the town, or just the temple for now. The rest of the town is still coming. So let's head on in, and we can place our first throne. Perfect. All right. So what I'm going to try and do is actually up try and upgrade um, this as soon as possible. I should have most of everything that is required here. Yeah? I've got uh, 60. Uh, of the iron reinforcements. And we've got 250 brick as well. So the only thing that is missing now is the manifestations of zeal. And uh, we basically get them by using the ritual knife and killing NPCs and then uh, using this on them. So that's what we're going to do, but we're not going to do that in this episode because we have run out of time, unfortunately. But thank you for joining me. Uh, next time we're going to do some decoration, put up some statues and... Uh, banners and stuff like that and i'm also going to try and upgrade to buy next time so thank you for joining me hit the like button if you like the video subscribe if you haven't yet just to get the notifications also hit the bell icon for that and uh, until next time enjoy <laughs>